Hey guys, this is Mario Freak 1989. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Christmas. It was last time. Well, um, we we ran around. We got um, we got a, we got a new Pokemon to our team. That's officially on our team, Nidoran. And actually, off camera, I did some leveling up. Yeah, I did some leveling up training. Uh, right now, I'm not gonna bring Nidoran to level 16 or 20 for that for a reason, as well as Oddish. So that's why I, have, I, I, I train them off camera, so that way you know you don't have to see me train. But anyways, but these two is a reason why I'm not bringing them up. But anyways, but now that we, we, we got the we got the thing to go to the girl about the pitcher, I mean about the water bottle, we have to go back to Goldenrod. So yeah, yeah, yay, backtracking. And luckily for me, I battle all these people, so I can just get a. Actually, I just want people that we can battle. But you know what? I'll come back for them later. Oh, right, so let's go. We're going back to the thing. Going back to Golden Ride. I might as well take the long way and just go. I could have cut through that grass, but I don't feel like walking around into some wild Pokemon, so you know. So I want to go back to, uh. Go back to town and get the. Actually, once again, let me show you. Actually, this is the same video on the same day. It's the, it's the same day I'm going to show you now. It's still Wednesday. And it's 320, not 220. So yeah. Just showing that off because I always show it up just to let you guys know where, what time of day I'm at. It's the same day, but it's going to be on a different day when I upload it, of course. But you know, so now it was next to the gym where she got we can get the water pitcher or whatever. La 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 la. I have plenty of water. Lovely. Wait, it's her. When I told you my sis about the juggle, the juggling tree, she told it's dangerous. If I beat Whit, if you, if I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll. Lend me the water bottle. Well, I'm about to get it from her now. Oh, you you're better than Whitney? You you'll be okay you'll be okay then here it's the squirt squirt bottle. And we got another item that's gonna be helpful throughout this. Put it in our key item, that's when it's gonna go. But now that we have to go back up there, I might just I might just cut out going back to the bottom. Actually no, I have the bike. It's a little faster, so let's go. But anyways, as we go on we're actually gonna um, squirt that bottle and make it into the next town. Yeah. So let's do it again. I don't mean to ruin the good park music. I love the park music, but you know we gotta go. Actually, I wonder because I wanted to do the bug contest. Yeah, it only happens on certain days. Does this tell me? The bug contest contest is held on Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesday. Oh, that's why. So maybe tomorrow if I do a video, I might do the bug contest, but for now, today is Wednesday. So let's squirt that bottle now, the dead tree. And I'm going to say because this Pokemon, I, I want to catch it, but I'm not going to put it on my team. I just want to catch it just for the hell of it. So yeah, it's a weird tree. Use the squirt bottle. Just use the squirt bottle. Weird tree doesn't like the square bottle. The weird tree is attacked. Tree attacked. And guys, it's a new Pokemon called Pseudo Wudo. That's weird. It's a Pseudo Wudo. I'm gonna try and catch it by weakening it because this Pokemon is pretty good. Oh, super effect. All right, it's, it's type. It's a rock type, you know. Yeah, I might switch out. So I don't want him to die anytime soon. Let's just put Growlithe out there. Why, why not? That would have definitely killed my thing. So let's let's Ember it a bit. Hopefully, I don't kill it. It's a rock, so it won't kill it. All right. That could have been passed as super effective if that would have went any further. It flinched, so let's try and catch it now. I, I didn't bother to get any more balls, so this might be a close one. Alright, let's see if we can catch us the pseudo -Wudo. One, two, three! And we caught! pseudo -Wudo was caught! Actually, I want to show you something before we go on. There's a tree branch shakes when there's no wind. Sudowoodo, not a tree. It hides from the rain. And there you go. Sudowoodo to Bill's PC. Oh, Gina, what do you want? Let's go in. 
It's Gina. It's th is this a bad time? Are you are your Pokemon still tough? I tr I train every day with Hopper, Hoppin, but you know, I still haven't caught any caught Abra. It's getting past frustrating. Bye. Let's chat again. Why do they bother to call me with a pointless conversation? But now that we're actually back in on Violet City, it's going that this way. I'm gonna show you guys something that I wanted to show you back in part four or two. Now that I have the radio card. Well, let me let me um heal my Pokemon first. You know what? I'm gonna show you something that I want to. S I actually wanna go on our bike, and I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Actually, you can just go this way too. What am I saying? Now, if you go back to the air, now remember, remember when uh, she was talking about the music and the radio frequency? Now, if you come in here, get your gear out and play the radio, you're gonna hear some really creepy music. There we go. Now, listen to this. This is creepy to me. There you go. Wait, it still plays. What the? Okay, that is kind of creepy. I forgot it does that with the radio. Anyways, but that's really the, the unknowns is making that radio frequency. But anyways, we're out of here. I just have to show it off quickly. Anyway, so now we're going to go into Equitique. By walking. And you know, bikes is for squares, like pants. So what do you have to say? And Anne and I are in this together. Too bad with double battles weren't created until later on in in the Pokemon series. Uh, so we have to battle the Pokemon one at a time. I didn't hit. Did I hit my? Oh yeah, I did hit my Pokemon right. Well, let's just double kick it. It's super effective. Perfect. No, no. Oh, if it would have put me to sleep, I would have been pissed. And Jigglypuff is dead. Oh, if your love if love is up, it's a good thing. Come on. Oh, a Clefairy. All right. I think it's also effective to uh, double kick too. Let's see. Oh, super effective. Perfect. One more time should take it out. But there's a reason why I didn't bring up my thing to level uh, 16. You're about to find out right now after this battle. It was quite obvious what's gonna happen, but still. Nah, a little too strong. Alright, so my Nidoran is already evolving. It's gonna be a lot of editing when I put the Pokemon on the bottom. I need to revolve into Nidorina. And now we're gonna put Oddish up front. For reasons, we'll see, we'll get to them. We're gonna battle this guy now. Pokemon can't be a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary it is. I just wanna put you to sleep first. Crap. Oh crap. Put it to sleep, put it to sleep, put it to sleep. Like I said, if I don't put you to sleep first. By the way, drives a new Pokemon, I think. It's a psychic type, but it what looks really, really creepy. Anyway, so let's absorb the crap out of it. This is gonna take a while. Oh, that sucks. He put me to sleep. Ah. Uh, oh, this ain't good. Oh shit. 
Oh shit! Oh, this is not good. Oh shit! Oh, he killed my Oddish. Oh, he killed my Oddish because I, I didn't know he could do Dream Eater. Uh, that's stupid. What the fuck? You know, I had an awakening. I'm stupid. I could have done that sooner. Oh, I don't have another one, so damn. This is gonna be an issue. Okay, guys, I admit, I had to check on that entire battle because he killed my Oddish and put my Nidoran to sleep, so it was just a nightmare waiting to happen. I lost? That's pretty sad. Yeah, y you actually had me going for it there for a second. Anyway, so we're actually in equity now, right now. Now I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And this is Bill, not, um, what's his name? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, SQ and Hunt. Um, you, you came to, well, you came at the right time. I just finished adjust my adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be trade right. My time capsules were still developed to enable trades with the past. With the past. But you can't send anything that you that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simple, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm done with the adjustment adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry and go back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Nerd. <laughs> Alright, cutting this out. Alright, now that that's done. <laughs> so, Equity Town. Let's see. I still gotta bring up Nidorina. Actually. Yeah, actually, in the meantime, I would like to train up this so it so can evolve. But I'm not. Well, actually, from what I. What I remember, I think uh, um, Oddish follows to level 21, so and I won't evolve into a, a thing right away. Uh, Oddish, I mean, uh, Vile Plume right away, but we'll, we'll, we'll go along with it. We're gonna go into the Burnt Tower. I love this music. Uh, Ichin, my name is e Isen. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. On my border, guys, you know that Pokemon. And you are. SQ, I'm glad to meet you. I hear rumors that Suikun is in this burned tower, so I can just. I came to look. But where exactly could it be? And this is the gym leader right here. Morty, I forgot to do something. Gym leader. More an equity gym leader has to study what what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suikun, Entei, and Raikou. Stin is here, so decided to investigate the tower with him. Actually, I forgot to do something important. I need to do this now because I forgot all about it. But we're gonna actually go into the what is this that the, this dance studio right here with all those kimono girl chicks? Because this is where you get surf. So I'm actually looking for the one that has uh, the. I'm trying to find out who has the Quake Porygon because I want to at least level up my Oddish. Fake Porygon. Yeah, I only chose this one because I wanted to take it out. Anyway, so this is a new Pokemon. It's one of the Eevee evolutions, Quake Porygon. Basically, use a Water Stone to evolve an Eevee, which is a great water type. I like it. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. It's gonna... Luckily for me, it didn't miss. You know what? Let's put it to sleep. This is before it does that again. I like how it's posed too. It looks like a. It looks like it's posed. Wait, I missed? How did I miss if it's sleeping? Jesus! That's like my strategy for everything with Oddish.
Ugh, great. How am I missing it sleeping? Well, so much for that. Jesus. Uh, okay, this is getting stupid. My only attack and it's missing. Come on, really? Jesus Christ. You should have been dead by now. Yeah, it's down to 3 HP for what I'm seeing. One more time should do it. Come on, just, just take it out, please. But you need to defeat these Kimura ghosts to get something from that guy on the bottom, which is Surf. And I know exactly who I'm giving it to. Oh yeah, it's almost there. Alright, cool. You're stronger than you look. Alright, that's one. They don't carry an Eevee evolution. This one might carry a grass one, I think. Judging by her clothes. Let's see. If she carries a... Uh, which one's the grass one? Yes, the... Oh, Jodeon. I don't know if that's any effective against a... I don't want to try it, though, but I do want to poison it, so let's just do that. And let's try one Exora. I want to see if it has any effect. I figure I'll miss, you know. Because he keeps using stupid sand attack. Seriously! Okay, I'm getting so upset right now, it's not even funny. Just absorb the thing, please. Jesus. By the way, sorry, uh, Joe Dion, you another Eevee evolution using a Thunderstone. I forgot to bring that up. It's a good electric type, but not the electric type I would want. I don't have a favorite electric types, really, but you know. I have no, no other attack to attack it with until it learns something better. And it's out. My, now my thing should evolve or something. We'll see. Alright, so it's defeated. And my Oddish is evolving. Perfect! Now we have a Gloom. I could evolve into a Vile Plume, but I'm gonna save that for later. No more attacks, damn it. Alright, let's fight one more Kimono Girl. I think this is the Fire one. Then again, I don't know. If she wants, I think she wants. I think she has the flurry on. I'm not sure. Oh, a new Pokemon. Now another new evolution of Eevee, Umbreon. It evolves when you uh, train it good throughout the night. But I'm just gonna poison the switch out. Well, let's have Nidoran fight, why not? Ugh, tell what. Anyways, but yeah, I think after this I might end this recording because since I spent most of it, a super effective, perfect. I'm gonna keep using this to kill it while it's poison. And tackle me with his butt! Or at least the way it moved. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, we're just gonna just continue to just kill it. I mean, take it out. Hopefully, with the double kick, we okay, it's dead. Oh, I almost went to level 17. I don't have any Pokemon left. All right. I would battle one more Kimono, but you know what? I want to actually end this part off. Until next time, this is Mario Freak 19 and see you in the next part.